Okay, so let's just say you're with your friends. Well, first of all, you gotta have friends. And you're playing like 2K, NCAA, Madden, maybe just in basketball or any sport at all. And you want to make a bracket. So what you do, you make your bracket. But most of the times, you'll make a double elimination bracket. If you don't know what a double elimination bracket is, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a bracket where you get two lives, two chances to still live. And then if you lose your first game, you get sent to a loser bracket to compete and to go back into the winner's bracket, basically. So, simple enough, what I did here in Madden is I made a double elimination bracket of the playoffs that just ended about a week or two ago, which all 12 teams that made the playoffs. This time, of course, added the double elimination feature, so every team has their second chance. So basically, we're restarting the brackets, or the, or the playoffs actually, every team that made it from the last season's here, and they'll compete in a double elimination bracket. So we'll start with AFC, AFC. And we'll go from there. So simple enough. Let's go. Okay, we're back at Foxborough. And if you don't know what happened, it really didn't happen that long ago. But what happened? The Titans end up getting upset. When the Titans get to the 30-yard line with 20 seconds left, 27 seconds left, and they call a timeout. As I was saying, the Patriots fall to the Titans in real life in this one. And remember, of course, they have a second chance. If they lose, they'll be considered as loser one. And loser one will play loser four. Which is, of course, the fourth loser in the AFC. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. If you know how double elimination works, you'll easily get this. If you don't, then you might be confused. But I'll let the bracket do it from here. As the Titans are looking just to waste the time and kick a field goal for the win. And move on to the winner's bracket as the Patriots will fall to the loser's bracket. Of course, they got to make the field goal first. As time is ticking down, no timeouts called. Looks like they're just going to let this be a field goal after a timeout by the Titans. Looks like they're running a play. They gotta hurry up though, and they call a timeout. Okay, so the kick is up next. Okay, so the kick from around the 30-yard line, about a 40-yard field goal for the win. It is up. It looks awful short. Oh, it just barely made it into the line of sight. And a 34-31 lead. And with only one second left, more than likely the Titans will take this one and win it. Okay, so the kickoff did nothing for the Patriots, and the Titans will win this one 34-31. Which means the Titans will move on in the regular bracket. And the Patriots, still has an extra life, will fall to the loser's bracket. Okay, so we're in NRG Stadium. Time is just going to tick down. And the Bills will turn into loser number two. They still have one more chance. And they'll have to use it wisely as the Texans will move on to play the Chiefs. Just like real life. Except, of course, no loser bracket. But the regular bracket is exactly how real life went. And we're on to NFC. Alright, we're in New Orleans. Of course, if you remember, the Vikings pulled off the upset in real life. Here we are. It's a six-point game, and the Vikings are close to the red zone or in the red zone. Okay, they're really close to the red zone, so they have a chance to win it or go home. Let's see what they can do here. 16 seconds left. No timeouts. Kirk Cousins finds a receiver. They got to get up and spike this one. The 10-yard line. They got to be quick. Got to be quick. Eight seconds now. Seven. Six. We're down to five. If they get it off in time, I don't think they'll get it off in time. And we have our first reverse game. The Saints change history. And this time they will win it. Which means the Vikings are going to the loser's bracket as loser number one for the NFC. Saints win 24-18. And the Saints do not know how to play that because we've got to wait for the other game. So, next game, Eagles-Seahawks. And a very, very surprising performance for the Eagles. The Eagles will change history just like the Saints. So the NFC was a much different. NFC had both different outcomes compared to the AFC, which had the same games for both wild card. And the Eagles win big. I mean, what's the score? 35-17, and they let up a garbage touch on the end too. So for whatever reason, the Eagles completely destroyed the Seahawks, which means the Seahawks will go down as loser number two in the loser's bracket, and the Eagles will move on. So, with that being said, in the NFC, the number one Saints will play the number four, or not number one Saints, number one 49ers will play the number four Eagles, and then the number two Packers will play the number three Saints. So, that concludes Wild Card Weekend. Let me show you the brackets, and we'll start our divisionals. Okay, so Wild Card Weekend is over. Like we saw, the AFC, nothing changed. It was the same winners in real life. The NFC was the opposite. Uh, the losers won. And of course, the addition of the loser's bracket gives those teams a second chance. So the screen right now should show the brackets. 
So, AFC, Ravens vs. Titans, Texans vs. Chiefs. And NFC, 49ers vs. Eagles, and Saints vs. Packers. So that's what we could have seen in real life, but didn't. And currently in the loser's bracket right now, waiting for a matchup. The loser won Pats, loser two Bills, and the loser won Vikings, and the loser two Hawks. Of course, the bracket right now will determine who plays the Pats, Bills, Vikings, and Hawks. So I have to get through these games, and then we can start doing some loser bracket games. So let's go. And this is completely different than real life. The Ravens showed up versus the Titans 34-7. to And the Titans will find their spot in the losers bracket. So, they're the third loser, which actually means they're playing the Patriots. Because the Patriots lost first. Or third, not first. <laughs> and the Titans, who are the third loser, will play the number one loser. So, Patriots and Titans will meet again. And the Ravens are moving on to the, I guess, conference championship. I mean, you can kind of call it that. So, next game. The Texans versus the Chiefs. I'm not too sure why we're seeing such weird score games. Uh, Texans put up a good fight in real life, but in this one, they're going to fall to the Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes with four touchdowns. This one, I don't remember the score, but the Chiefs, another big win for an AFC team. And the final score is 41-27. You take away the points they got in the fourth quarter, basically garbage time. It would have been a complete blowout. So the Chiefs will move on to play the Ravens in basically the suspected AFC Championship. While the Texans will be crowned the loser number four. So they will be going back to play the Bills. So the AFC, it's the same exact wild card matchups in the losers round. This time it actually matters because there's no insurance for losing. So now on to the NFC. I believe we start with the 49ers versus the Eagles. Okay, so we are in 49er territory. Not territory, yeah. <laughs> the game is over. In San Francisco is what I meant to say. The 49ers beat the Eagles 34-20. to And the Eagles will find their warm welcoming spot in the losers bracket. They are losing number three and I believe... They play the Vikings. Yeah, so Vikings-Eagles is our first NFC matchup in the loser's bracket. And now it's up to the Saints and Packers. Who will make the final spot into the loser's bracket? Actually, it's not the final spot. It's the final fourth spot until we can start playing loser games. There's still another team that makes the loser bracket. So, let's move on to that. Well, it was only like a six-point game or something, but embarrassing... For the Packers on Lambeau on their own home turf. And the Packers will feel what it's like to be in the loser's bracket. Also, I was wrong. The Vikings are not playing the Eagles. The Hawks are playing the Eagles. The Hawks playing the Eagles. Which means another rematch. And in this case, this is the only matchup that's going to be different. And it's the loser number one Vikings versus the loser number four Packers. So, of course, finally we have something different in the loser's bracket. But here we have the Saints moving on to play the 49ers in the regular bracket. So, bracket results, and then we can start playing some loser bracket games. Okay, so forget everything I said. I originally said the Patriots are playing the Titans, but I was wrong. The Titans lost third in the AFC, which means they are, of course, the third loser, and they will play the Bills. So in that case, the Patriots will play the Texans instead. So we're doing the loser's bracket, uh, like I said. Earlier, the Ravens and Chiefs are on the AFC Championship, and the 49ers and Saints are in the NFC Championship. But the mix-up I had was the AFC Losers Bracket, but I got that fixed now. It's the Patriots versus the Texans, and the Bills versus the Titans, and the NFC with the Vikings versus Packers and Hawks versus Eagles. I believe this is correct. Uh, I went through all of it, double-checked, and I think I got it right now. So, sorry about that, and now we can start the Losers Bracket. Patriots versus Texans. And the first team to completely fall out of the double elimination bracket is weirdly the Patriots. The Patriots go 0-2 and the Texans have a little bit of life. They'll move on to the second round of the loser's bracket. How about the Patriots, though? You know, they're, you think, one of the best teams. Oh, my batteries just died. Okay, sorry about that. But uh, they lose 31-9, and they just get shut out instantly, and they are out. They're the first team out. So the next game, I forgot what it is. We're moving on to the next game in the loser's bracket. So, we finally have a game worth watching. The Titans. I believe this is a home game for them. It is with a minute left to down by three. Completes it. No, it's knocked out. 
around the 50 yard line. One minute, one second left. And I forgot to mention this. The lowest loser you are. So let's say you're loser number one. You're not getting a home game. The, the latest you loss is... It's, it's basically backwards in how the regular bracket works. So in this case, since the Titans lost later than the Bills, then the Titans get the home game. It's opposite than the regular bracket. Tannehill launches one, two, an open receiver. He breaks out of two tackles. It is no other than Brown. Gone into the end zone. Breaks the tackles of two defenders. Touchdown, Titans. A.J. Brown. Gets open. Breaks one defender. Breaks two defenders. Runs for 25 yards into the Titans end zone. And the Titans take the lead with a late touchdown. Whoa. Okay, so it's fourth down and 10 now. The Bills keep on overthrowing receivers. And they had to get 10 yards. Josh Allen finds a receiver. All the way up to the 47-yard line. Timeout is called. They're looking for a touchdown, of course. Okay, so Josh Allen just going to throw this one deep again. Not much else to say. Throws it early. And this one's picked. And that one's going to do it. The Titans will move on to play their division rival, the Texans, in the second round of the loser's bracket. Interesting game. A.J. Brown really helping the Titans out at the end and helps them get the win. Let's go on to the NFC now. And the Packers finally using Lambeau to their advantage, crushing their division rival, Aaron Rodgers. 300 yards, four touchdowns. They win this one big. Final score, which is... Waiting, waiting, waiting. 38-17. to Vikings had no answer, and the Vikings go 0-2 and leave the double elimination bracket. As the Packers are moving on to play, I believe, the winner of the Eagles and Seahawks. So let's get to that. Okay, we are in the red zone with 10 seconds left. Eagles, one more play. They got to line up quick. I don't know what they're doing. Line up. No, they're really just going to let this one run out again? Eagles, come on. You have a chance. Horrible time management. And the Eagles can't get the playoff. And the Seahawks will win this one 17-10. And the Eagles are the final team to lose 0-2. And the Seahawks are moving on to play the Packers in a rematch. So, let's move on to the regular bracket this time. We're going to see the conference champions. And we're going to see who... Also makes their plays into the loser's bracket. And then we'll continue back with the loser's bracket. Let's okay, so we just got through our first round of the loser's bracket. Four teams have been eliminated. We're down to eight more teams. And four of those teams are stuck at one life. However, four of those teams are chilling right now. And they haven't even touched the loser bracket yet. So let's go through our matchups. We're starting with the regular bracket. Ravens versus Chiefs. And then the 49ers versus Saints. Those are the conference champions. And as it where it says loser number five, that's where the loser of those games will go. And then of course we have the loser bracket games, Texans versus Titans and Packers versus Seahawks. So we'll get those two conference championship games done. We'll move down the loser bracket and we'll see who's gonna play the loser of the conference champion. Let's go. Okay, so here in the AFC championship, the Chiefs and the Ravens are tied at 20. But a chip shot for Justin Tucker should give this... Oh, a nice by Andy Reid. But anyways, more than likely, Justin Tucker will chip this one in, win it for the Ravens. Which means the Chiefs will be loser number five. And then they'll go down to the loser's bracket. And the Ravens will play in the Super Bowl. However, this Super Bowl is not over yet. Because if they win the Super Bowl, they gotta play the winner... Of the loser's bracket, if you know how that works. Once again, I said this before, it's really confusing. But, you'll understand it. So, Justin Tucker, this is something he's used to. He should nail this one in. Kick is up. And the Ravens will win it 23-20. to The Ravens are going to the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs are losing an extra life in going to the loser's bracket. Let's see the Saints versus 49ers in the NFC. Whoa, and who would have thought the Saints absolutely crushing the 49ers in San Francisco, which means the 49ers will have a taste of the loser's bracket while the Saints are going to the Super Bowl to play the Ravens. 
Of course, it's not official yet, but the final score of this game was 31 to 6. You leave the 49ers to six points, that's impressive. And the Chiefs, or the Chiefs, the 49ers, will be crowned loser number five, which means they automatically have home field advantage in the loser's bracket, but it's still not the best to be down there. But yeah, let's go and jump into the loser bracket games to see who plays the Chiefs in the 49ers. The Titans might be taking their last breath here. Yep, and they will just let time tick down, and the Titans are moving on to play the Chiefs in a rematch of the AFC Divisional of this year. So, we'll go on to NFC. Who will play the 49ers? Will it be the Seahawks or the Packers? And down goes the Packers, the Seahawks. We'll move on, and I honestly kind of forgot everything because I haven't recorded one of these clips in a long time. But I believe the Seahawks are moving on to play the 49ers. Yes, that's right. The Packers are officially out. So, we'll go to the bracket results. We'll take a look at how everything is forming out right now, and then we'll jump in to our... We're actually getting close to the end. Jump in on our final games. Okay, so... Up next is the Super Bowl for the winner bracket. Whoever wins this automatically makes it to the Super Bowl of the double eliminations. Either the Ravens or the Saints. And then we'll play our two loser bracket games, Chiefs versus Texans and Hawks versus 49ers. And the winner of those games will play. And then eventually they will play the loser of the Super Bowl on the winner side. So... Let's go ahead and get into this. I don't want any more bracket updates. I'm just going to keep on going through this, and we'll take it from here. Let's go. Well, the Saints beat the Ravens by 11 points to win the winner's bracket, which means the Saints have free two games. If you don't really know, the winner bracket winner plays the loser bracket winner, <laughs> loser bracket winner, and the winner bracket winner, since they've never lost a game, they have two games. Which means the loser bracket winner have to beat the winner of the winner bracket twice. So the Saints have won the winner's bracket. And the Ravens are the final team to go to the loser's bracket. They will take the place of the Super Bowl L. If you see it on the bracket. I'll have it pulled up in a bit. Yeah. So the Saints, they have extra protection now. And the Ravens have a bye currently in the loser's bracket. So let's continue with the loser's bracket. And we'll see who can make it to play the Saints. Okay, we have the Chiefs. They beat the Texans. And they are moving on to the next round of the loser's bracket. we got to wait for the NFC. And the winner of the NFC loser bracket will play the Chiefs. And the winner of that will play the Ravens. And then the winner of that will play the Saints in the double elimination Super Bowl. So, Chiefs win 27-24, a lot closer than I imagined. Chiefs nailed the ball away though at the end. And now, the Seahawks versus the 49ers. And the 49ers get it done. They just barely sneak past the Seahawks win. I actually didn't get it. It was a game-winning field goal. I didn't get it, my bad. But the 49ers win in Levi Stadium, and they're playing the Chiefs. Yeah, and then the winner of that will play the Ravens. And like I said, the winner of that will move on to the double elimination Super Bowl. So, we have a Super Bowl matchup again. A rematch. Chiefs-Niners. And the winner of this will play the Ravens. Let's go to that real quick. And here we have it. The Chiefs are moving on to play the Ravens in the loser Super Bowl. The 49ers lose both of their games in blowouts. And Patrick Mahomes throws four touchdown passes against the 49ers defense. And here are the Chiefs. They gotta play this game, and then they gotta beat the Saints twice. Or whoever wins this game has to beat the Saints twice. 35-18 final score. Let me show you the bracket because I haven't run you up on the bracket in a long time. So here's the bracket, and we played a few games. Like I said, the loser or the winner of this will move on to play the Saints. Gotta beat them twice, though. Chiefs played Texans, Chiefs won. Hawks played 49ers, 49ers won. And now we're seeing Chiefs versus Ravens. So let's go to that. This will be the final bracket update. And then we'll go from there. Let's go. And the loser Super Bowl goes to the Chiefs. They went up the defense to stop in overtime, 27 to 24. The game lasted too long. I didn't feel like getting any overtime in it. So with that being said, the Chiefs are playing the Saints in the double elimination Super Bowl. However, since the Saints have never lost, the Chiefs have to beat them twice. So. 
starting at the Saints' house, we'll play one game in New Orleans, and then if we get to a second game, we'll play in Miami. Let's go. And hold on a minute, we're heading to Miami to watch the final game of the double elimination bracket because the Chiefs take game number one. So it's anybody's game now. The Saints representing the winner's bracket. This is the first game they lost. And the Chiefs from the loser's bracket, they lost one game, of course, playing the Saints. So here we go into Miami. And the Chiefs, they are just too good. No matter what, double elimination, 32-team bracket, the Chiefs, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter how many games they play, what teams they play, the Chiefs, just get it done no matter what. The Chiefs have won the double elimination Super Bowl, and by far, definitely, they deserved it. They, they're the best team ever in my Madden games, or my Madden simulations. I don't know, they're just, they always ball out in the Saints. Another disappointing way to lose or fall in a playoff for the Saints again. At least this time they made it. <laughs> and Patrick Mahomes wins the double elimination bracket with the Chiefs this time again. Just like real life, except, of course, the no double elimination. But finally, we conclude this video. Wow, I, I hope it's a good one. I've spent forever on it. It's been at least four hours recording this. I'm worn out, but was it fun? Yes, it was worth it. Bracket on the screen right now. The Chiefs have gone all the way. First of all, being the Saints two times in a row, not easy. But the Chiefs get it done. So thank you guys for watching Madden Double Elimination Bracket. I'll see you guys.